As a video producer, it's becoming more and more important to be able to quickly deliver social media versions of videos for clients. In this video, I'm gonna show you one super quick and highly effective workflow to quickly create social media edits and custom burnt in captions using Final Cut Pro 10 and an awesome AI transcription tool called Simon Sets. Let's go. G'day, I'm Ben Amos from Engage Video Marketing, and on this channel, I share tips, tricks, and strategies to help you be better at video marketing. And if you haven't yet hit subscribe, then do that now, and then the bell to stay up to date as a video strategist. With almost every video project we deliver for our clients these days, we're adding on delivery of social media native versions. Whether they be modified to vertical for IGTV or stories, or four x five or square ratios for Instagram and Facebook. And that's a relatively easy thing to achieve in your editing software that I'm gonna share with you real soon. However, the tricky bit can often be getting the burnt in caption transcribed and on your video and then styled to look just right. And that's where time can quickly suck away. If you're either transcribing the video yourself or needing to send it off to something like rev.com. And the best part is that this workflow and the software I'm gonna share with you works regardless of the professional editing software that you're using. But in this case, we're gonna dive into Final Cut Pro and take a look. All right, so here we are in Final Cut Pro and I have a timeline with a very simple edit laid out and ready to go. Now this has been edited in a 16 by nine or widescreen aspect ratio. Now in this case, I'm gonna walk you through the workflow for how to create a square aspect ratio social media version. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create a new project and that project I'm going to title it um, Promo Video Square. And then I'm going to make sure that I've selected the square option here and I'm going to select 1080 by 1080 and in this case 25p. I'm going to leave everything else as is and click OK. From there, I'm going to now go back to my original 16 by nine or widescreen project. I'm gonna select everything from here, copy, and then go back to my square project and then paste the project in. Now, by default, you'll see that I had some uh, kind of scale and, and reframe in my original edits. Now, as I've copied that from the original timeline, it's kind of looking like it's all over the place which is fine because I'm actually going to cover up the top and the bottom of this frame with some branding. So let me explain. So let's go through this fairly quickly. I'm going to create a solid in the generators tab, solids and selecting custom. And I'm going to drop that down on the top layer there and drag it out over the duration of the entire clip. I'm going to select a brand color. In this case, I'm choosing this, uh, no, this orange color here. And then I'm going to uh, crop the, in this case, I'm going to crop the bottom layer uh, to hit right over the top of the video, 16 by nine video. And then I'm going to duplicate or alt and drag to get that um, copied across. And then in this case, I'm going to now crop the top. And <laughs> that's the left. I'm going to crop the top down to line up with the bottom. Now, because that layer is positioned over the top of the main timeline, when it's reframing in that way, um, I might need to actually reframe some of these a little bit as well. So that one's framed bigger. Um, this framing's a little bit black. So what I'll do here is just zoom in on that and then it's going to stay within the frame. There we go. So now I've got uh, the beginnings of a branded frame to this video. Now I'm going to go to the title section and I'm going to just build in and build out and just choose the custom title, which comes default with Final Cut. And then I'm going to drag that out again over the entire duration of the clip. And here is where I'm creating a headline. So what I wanna do is to consider the headline section of this video as like a hook, something that's gonna stop the ideal viewer of this video in their tracks and stop the scroll so that we can encourage them to actually click play on this video, recognizing that the eyes are going to see the title at the top of the video before they actually pay attention to what's being said or, or what's being shown in the captions of the video. So in this case, I'm going to um, position and style this title to be relevant to this video. 
All right, so I'm happy with the position and the hook of the title there, and now I wanna get a little bit of branding in there as well. So I'm going to grab a, um, a just a logo that we have here for our brand, and just gonna add that onto the layer as well. Now in this case, this logo is currently orange, which isn't really going to stand out particularly well. So in this case, I'm just going to quickly change the color of that logo simply by using the color grading tools. And in this case, I'm simply going to wind up the exposure of all layers there so that we basically turn that white. And that's just a simple way to turn that logo white. And then I'm going to go back to the transform controls for that logo element there. I'm going to scale it down. I'm going to position it kind of a bit off the screen and something a bit like, like that just so that we get a bit of that branding in there. Yeah, cool, I like that. So now we've got basically the video in a square aspect ratio um, with no captions yet. So this is where the magic comes into play where I'm gonna introduce you to a tool called simonsays.ai. Now simonsays.ai is a, a paid service which you can try out for free. So you get 15 minutes for free and then you obviously need to pay uh, on one of their paid plans. But the benefit of Simon Says is they actually have a Final Cut Pro plugin. So when you install the Final Cut Pro extension, it basically enables you to log into your Simon Says account, see what, how much credit you've got left and see the projects that you have um, at play and so on, simply within the Final Cut extensions window. So once we're happy with our project, then all we need to do is to go to the share menu and to that Simon Says transcription share preset. And when we open that up, we're going to change the settings to audio only. Now by choosing audio only means that you're actually going to be exporting just the audio layer here, which is important because that's what Simon Says needs in order to create the transcription. I'm going to change this to MP3 and then click next. That will then export in Final Cut. I need to enter in my password again. And then once it's exported in Final Cut, it will open up in the Simon Says transcription window. Okay, once we're happy with the transcription, we can simply click this share button here. And this is where the real fun begins because you'll see here, we've got options to share this uh, transcription back into various editing software. Now in this case, I'm going to select Final Cut Pro and I'm going to select titles. By doing this, it brings the transcription in as a title layer, which is completely editable within Final Cut Pro. I'll show you. What it's actually doing is creating an XML file, which you're able to then drag and bring back into your project uh, within Final Cut Pro. So you can see within Final Cut Pro here, I have my main event. I'm just going to actually, in this case, bring that. So grabbing this title here, I'm gonna drag it back into my event in Final Cut. That will create now a new project within Final Cut. And I can find that in Final Cut here. created here a new project which has the titles in exactly the right position. So I'm just gonna select all of those titles and I'm going to copy them and go back to my original video which has all the branding the way I want it. Importantly here, I wanna make sure that the titles are aligned to the content. So I need to zoom in to make sure I place my playhead at the start of where the audio starts. So where the talking starts with the video and there I'm going to paste my title layer. And you'll see it's pasted the title layer as we zoom back out here of the timeline. You can see it's pasted all the titles in and it's actually put them in pretty much the right location, but all of this is completely editable. Now you can see that it's not actually the right color. I'm actually gonna want these to be a white text. So by selecting them all, I can go to the text editor here and I can click on the face and change it from that gray color to a white color. And of course I can change the fonts and all of that as well. I'm happy with this font. 
Okay, so if I spotted any errors, I can also obviously change that anytime, just like you would a normal title. So if I wanted to actually capitalize the title of this workshop here, then I can capitalize and make that change here within Final Cut anytime I want. Um, the other thing that I want to consider here is whether or not the gaps in this um, in these titles make sense. So in this case, you can see it's kind of dropping out in between, which is not bad, but I actually prefer with my captions to um, make sure that there isn't those little gaps in between. It just makes it a bit of a smoother experience. So simply by uh, dragging out the ends of those handles there, I can quickly fix those titles. So that's basically it. I can choose to export as normal by going file, share, let's say HD 1080p and away we go. The cool thing is this process and simonsays.ai works much the same for both Final Cut Pro, Premiere Pro, Avid and DaVinci Resolve. So give it a go and let me know how you go in the comments below and enjoy having some of your time back in your editing workflow. And when you're done with this video, I've got the next one ready for you to go right here. So click the thumbnail and continue your mastery of video marketing right now. See you soon.